we look at every subject that we want to film and then we say, well, what is the best way to get into their world? It's an amazing moment when you realise that you're actually seeing some stuff for the first time. My name's John Downer and these are my incredible team of spy creatures. Well, I suppose it all started when I started making wildlife films and I wanted to have that kind of intimate perspective to get into the animal world and actually know what it's like to be an animal. So over the years, use used technology to get more and more inside the animal world. And as things have progressed, we've moved from just using remote cameras disguised as rocks to where we are today, which is having you know, these incredible spy creatures which are able to do filming, cameras in their eyes, but they look like the animals and the animals we interact with them. The whole idea of you know, using the robots uh, came about when we made a film about penguins. For the first time we thought, well, what if we made a penguin cam? A living, moving camera that looked like a penguin that was able to go into the colony and start picking up these incredible shots. You can't explain it because it's, it's a dream come true. I think part of the, the whole technique is, is to try and get inside the animal's minds. You know, understanding animal behaviour is key to it all, really. We lost one spy pup to a wolf. By tortoise is squashed by an elephant. And I think it's something about the fact that they look living makes them think before they actually do anything. And if it's not a threat, then they kind of, they quite like it. The challenges are, they're innumerable because everything is a challenge from the beginning to the point you get the film. The animals, once you get there and once you're actually with them, they tend to be the least of all the problems. They usually do deliver because they do amazing things. And if you've got the technology to be able to film close to them and in their world, you know, you, are, you know you're going to get something remarkable.